Okay, we're going to look at the five best bomber jackets ever made. And this first one is made, uh, it's a replica actually of the jackets that were made for the Indiana Jones movies. And this is the Raiders of the Lost Ark, the first one. Peter Botwright of Wested Leather. He makes these for folks and he'll custom make them. He also makes some uh, pre-sized so you can get whatever you want from him. You can specify extra pockets inside. I've had a couple of these made and I really like these jackets. This is probably my favorite of all the bomber jackets when you don't need something for extreme cold weather. So this is good for, uh, I'd say, down to in the 40s, 40 degrees, something like that. You put a little sweater under it and you can do fine with this. Very comfortable. Quality construction is first rate. He doesn't mess around. These are made in the UK. You can get them for around $250 US these days. So there are going to be some photos also at the end of this. And you can find the photos also on my Flickr stream, the full-size photos. If you want to download them and use them for any purposes, feel free. Just credit me, craigship.com, with a photo credit. And um, I'd be happy to let you use them. So we're going to take a look at about five different coats and some of them are designed for extreme cold weather and some are designed for moderate weather and you be the judge and share in the comments the jackets that you really like uh, as far as a bomber style jacket what are your favorites share that we'd be happy to uh, to exchange some information and these are uh, mostly in the 250 to up to four and five hundred dollar price range Th these uh, nylon jackets are less expensive and you got to watch these because a lot of them are made overseas now the original ones by Averex and other companies like that um, Alpha Industries most of them were made in the USA and so you want to try to find those if you can if you're at an army surplus store and you find one of these that's made in the USA grab it because the, they're not um, as easy to find anymore. They used to all be made in the USA. Of course, they're made for our military. Uh, this one, I believe, is made for the Air Force. And so you would hope that they would still be made in the USA, but they are not. So keep your eyes open. The zippers work great on these big, heavy-duty zippers. But again, some of the foreign-made ones are not very high quality. So if you get one from a major brand like Alpha Industries, it's probably going to be well-made, even if it's made overseas. But look for the US one if you can. This jacket I'm wearing right now is U.S. Wings makes a bunch of bomber jackets. This one is very rare. This is actually made of kangaroo leather, which they don't make anymore. And kangaroo is one of the strongest leathers there is pound for pound. It's stronger than alligator, for example. It's a very lightweight leather, very strong. The hat that I have on there is also made of kangaroo leather. And so this is their signature series jacket and they still make signature series jackets but they don't make it in kangaroo anymore they do have one I noticed on their website in Buffalo so they do from time to time make them out of exotic leathers and this one is made in the USA a lot of their stuff is made in the USA very high quality construction I, I definitely this rivals the um, Wested leather coat as far as uh, quality both of them very high quality this one I believe was about $450 new and again they're they're very hard to find in uh, kangaroo leather so this one's very comfortable I could wear a sweater underneath it as well the zipper works very well very very pleased with that jacket now this one if you need something heavy duty this is a shearling coat and this is made by Averex and Again, U.S. made, very high quality. This one is fashioned after the coat that Patton had made for to use in the tank. See the extra leather on the arms there? That was something that he specified when he has his had his coat made, and this is basically a replica of that coat. Again, a rather pricey coat, probably around $550, maybe even more these days, um, but heavy duty, built to last, and this one I got a little larger than I normally would. This is a size 44 because I got it so that I could put a sweater underneath it. So this obviously is geared up for extremely cold weather, extremely rugged use. Um, that's when you would use something like this. It can take a beating and still keep you warm. We're going to look at another coat here in a little while that is also for extreme cold weather. That is actually the coat that I chose to wear when I went to Moscow in January, when I went to Russia in January. And so if you want cold weather, go to Russia in January and you'll get some. 
so these uh, these coats are all very comfortable <clears throat> this one is a little stiffer uh, than some of the other coats I haven't worn it as much of course I go to Florida in the winter now so I don't wear these much at all but um, this jacket however this nylon one I'm wearing now is extremely comfortable the zipper works great um, it it feels very light on you but it really keeps you warm I wore this like I say in January in Russia and it kept me warm the wind did not come through it and you, you can put the hood up you'll see in a little while I'll try the hood and I'll put the hood up and you can put that up and really keeps you warm this was a great choice for for going over there I also had some ski pants that I wore that um, kept me very warm they were actually jump pants for for jumping out of helicopters uh, when skiing and they were very comfortable and um, and those together with this jacket and some thermals kept me very warm even in, in frigid cold uh, there in January so you can see you can really bundle up with this thing and, and keep warm but yet it is very comfortable I would definitely recommend this for normal winter wear you don't overheat in it if you put the hood down and so forth and unzip it you you stay nice and comfortable even up into the 50 degree range 50 55 degree range you're gonna be fine with this jacket on so from a versatility standpoint it would be hard to beat this jacket and this one is made by Alpha Industries Alpha Industries and it is made in the USA and again I'm gonna run a photo slideshow at the end of course I keep a, a scarf handy in it and I also usually keep um, some very warm gloves uh, on board so that I'm ready for just about any kind of weather situation these the pockets you can get into from the inside or the outside they're shared pockets you can see I can take that out from the inside or the outside unlike the other bomber nylon bomber coat I saw, showed you which has separate pockets inside this shares the same pocket you can gain entry from outside or inside so again very well constructed um, lot of layers of stitching holding everything together you can that flap you can put over will will keep the wind out you just button that over and that keeps the wind from coming through the zipper so great jackets great solutions again you share your comments and share the bomber jackets that you really uh, love to use and um, uh, I'd be happy to see what you what you have to say uh, there's a lot of options out there these are five that I think are, are five of the best but certainly share your comments. Thanks for watching and listening.